to share with you guys a Costco grocery haul. I also stopped into Publix, one of my favorite places to shop. I only got a few things from there. I mean, really, it was a whole huge bag, uh, but it's, it's enough. It's like scattered in between with the Costco stuff, mostly on that side. But we are back from vacation, so I definitely needed to stock up. Our fridges are bare. I mean, this is a rather large grocery haul, which I feel like it always is from Costco, but it's not my biggest. Probably because I didn't meal plan. I had full intentions of meal planning this morning, and then I, I did nothing. <laughs> I guess I just spent my time doing things that I wanted to do, which was nothing rather than meal planning. I should have meal planned because now I have no idea what we're going to eat for dinner. I guess let me just show you everything we got. Maybe you can give me some suggestions. Here it is. I guess I'll show you around first. Here is one side of my kitchen, and here is the other side of my kitchen. So let's start with the healthy products, all of the deliciousness over here. I got some mangoes. I almost talked myself out of getting mangoes, but these felt really nice and like ready to eat. Last time I bought mangoes from Costco, literally needed to wait like four months before we ate them. And then I was cutting into them thinking, are these still good? I don't know. I grabbed these from Costco because, and when I say Costco, I mean Publix, because Costco carrots were just so large, I didn't even want to deal with them. I don't want seven million carrots. I just want a little bit of carrots <gasps> and finally yes I found some cilantro at Costco I love that they do this a nice large bag of cilantro and I just wrap it up in a paper towel and then in a Ziploc bag and it keeps for such a long time I used to put it in like a cup of water in my fridge no it was like dead the next day so I was happy to find that considering I have uh, you know curry paste that I, we, I want to make and stuff like that I mean really Cilantro is good on um, everything. I got some bananas, they're organic, mostly because I couldn't find the other ones or maybe someone was in the way, whatever. I just grabbed some bananas. I got some green beans. Oh, I can smell the cilantro like wafting up at me. I almost grabbed multiple bags of green beans, but then I thought, you know what, Kim, I, you have no idea what's happening for dinner. Let's just stick with one bag. I grabbed some mandarin oranges. We love a good mandarin orange during the summertime. It's so juicy, so delicious. And, ooh, the tantalizing taste of the Mediterranean Crunch Chopped Salad Kit. I love this stuff. It's very, very salty, so if that's not your thing, you stay away from it. It has a basil balsamic vinaigrette, which is full chef's kiss to die for. A two, a two, two, a two die for, a two, 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 two die for. Moving on, I got some broccoli florets because um, I just always keep these in our freezer. It's just a quick, easy uh, vegetable whenever I'm throwing dinner together and I have no idea what's for dinner. I'm like, oh, well, at least I know I've got broccoli in the freezer. I also grabbed some potatoes. These are, I just, we like potatoes, okay? We like the starchiness of them. We like that they're baby. We like that they come from the little potato company. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Joke it on my own spit. <coughs> Anyone else choke on their own spit? Good. Ooh, these grapes just look so del Here's the thing, I also went grocery shopping while I was hungry. Probably a mistake, but not really because I, you know what? I did pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself. These looked really good. Ooh, yes. Can't wait to eat some grapes later. You know what? I didn't want to buy these blackberries. And then I saw them later in the store and I thought, okay, well, I guess it's meant to be. I grabbed some blackberries. I also was like scrolling through Instagram and I saw someone making a blackberry pie and I thought, huh, never made that before. Maybe I'll give that a shot. And then I grabbed some raspberries and these just look so delicious. And last time I bought raspberries, it took my kids a while to go through them. It's like feast or famine, like bananas. They either eat all of them at once or like one at a time and then never again. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a little taste test because raspberries are just so delicious. Come on. Here we go. A little boon appetit, okay? Mmm. Just what I want out of a raspberry. So tart. So delicious. Okay, moving on. I grabbed some corn, sweet corn. This wasn't the best price. Hopefully I saved the receipt and the prices are up here in the corner. I want to say it was around $5, but you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's not a good price, but yeah, you know what? Life goes on. They didn't have normal corn, and at that point I wasn't planning on going to Publix. Life goes on. I also grabbed some, oh man, come on, it's so heavy. It's my strong hand. Some peaches. Ooh, these smelled so good. I walked by them at the store and I thought, yes, we need those. I did not buy any apples and these will be our apple for the week because, uh, well, I didn't buy apples and I don't know, it's kind of the same thing. I grabbed some avocados. 
Eleanor likes them, Alex likes them, and I think that's pretty much it. Maybe Meredith likes to eat it on occasion. I don't know. Guys, it's just an avocado. And you know what? They don't make anything special with it. Oh, but you know what? One of our cousins came over the other day and made avocado and salsa, mixed it together, and called it guacamole. So maybe that's like lazy man's way of making guacamole, and you know what? Do it if you can. I grabbed some Rainier cherries. Rainier? Rainier. Well, a rose by any other name. Ooh, my wrist is so skinny. But I swear the Rainier cherries are it. This is where it's at. They are so delicious. Not a bad one in the bunch. And you know what? I almost didn't buy these and I thought, well, summertime treat for the kids. Okay, here's the thing about smoothies. Isn't it true, or maybe it's just for juices, maybe smoothies and juices, as soon as you puree them, maybe just juices, I don't know, the nutritions start to deteriorate, or I don't know, evaporate, I don't know what happens, I don't know the science behind it, but these are zero added sugar, and I just thought, why not? You know what I mean? Let's just grab some smoothies for the kids and maybe it'll make them happy. Probably not. I also grabbed some Ghirardelli brownie mix. Oh, wow. Okay, listen up. Listen here. If you watched my vlog from, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I shared a, like, guaranteed best brownie recipe and it had espresso powder in it. And I thought, oh my, this is delicious. And it really was very, very delicious. And someone told me they just take um, espresso powder, add like a teaspoon of it to box brownie mix, and what else do they add? Oh, I totally forgot. I think that's it. Yeah, and it was life-changing for me, so next time I make these, I'm probably gonna, one, add some pecans because I've been craving pecans and chocolate lately, and I am going to add a little bit of espresso powder. Maybe the kids won't like it, but I don't care. Sometimes, you know, I don't like pizza, and I eat it for them, you know what I mean? I also grabbed some Brussels sprouts. These are from Publix. I didn't see any Brussels sprouts at Costco, so I had to spend an arm and a leg on these from Publix. Two little bundles right there, but it'll hold me over. I also got some hollandaise sauce because that's how I like to eat Brussels sprouts lately. Oh, yes, please. I'm so excited for dinner. I'm actually so hungry. I have only eaten like two strips of bacon, three spoonfuls of Nutella, half of a granola bar, maybe a bite of a watermelon. I feel like I'm the that caterpillar, the very hungry caterpillar. I had one sip of water and I was still hungry. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, dinner. Yeah, I'm hungry. It's nowhere close to dinner time, but I might we might make an early dinner for me. Korean barbecue style chicken. Oh, sounds so good. Tender chicken breast. Can you read this? Strips paired with a soy-free bulgogi sauce. Bulgogi? Uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't that look good? Every chicken that I've tried from this Kevin's brand has been, yes, pricey, but also delicious. So if you're in a pinch and you need some dinner on the table without thinking about it, Kevin here has got you covered. Um, also a staple in our house are tortillas. I came home and for some reason, our, the bag of our tortillas was wide the heck open. So I had to toss them. They were all hard as a rock. So I had to buy some more. Good thing Costco has them for a very good price. And tacos is just like a staple go-to meal at our house. Everyone loves it. Well, really, it's chimichangas, okay? Chimichang and can I tell you, it takes like 10 extra minutes to make a chimmy. Ugh, whatever. You know what? I do it because I love my family. <laughs> I also got some melons here. Two melons from Costco, uh, cantaloupe style. I got some Madre's lentils because Avelina loves them. Quick, easy lunch. Throw it on some rice that you made for dinner the night before. And I always make extra rice to have leftovers. And, um, ooh, maybe some cauliflower. Love mixing that in, adding a little bit of veg. But this is overall healthy. It's lentils, it's beans, it's good stuff in that box. And it's easy for, you know, the little ones to make themselves. I also grabbed these. And you know what? Sometimes you just gotta try something new. I was at the grocery store for quite some time doing a shop with me and just looking at new products. You know, I was looking at that and I thought, ooh, what's this? I've never seen it before. And they are peel aparts. Real fruit string make snacking fun. It doesn't make snacking fun. There's 30 pouches in there. And here's what they look like. I opened one for the kiddos and they were all together and you know, they just tear them apart, mostly Meredith. Uh, yeah, they just taste like a fruit leather kind of thing, but they're in strings and it's pretty nice. I don't know if it's worth the price. We'll see if everyone like really enjoys them. I also grabbed some cashews. 
uh, premium quality cashews, Kirkland brand. Everyone loves those. They eat through, well, when I say everyone, I mean everyone but Avelina because we, we're pretty sure she has a cashew allergy. Still waiting on that test. What's so silly about her allergy testing, we met with the doctor, which we had to wait to meet with him, which I guess is fine because it's not a super emergency, but we had to wait like a month to meet with him, and then the first appointment was just like, oh, hi, how are you? Like, hi, I've got allergies, can you please test me? It's just, I don't know, it's just annoying, that preliminary appointment. Hi, my name is this. Yes, can we schedule an allergy? You, like, you have to schedule an appointment to schedule an appointment. I don't know, man. Soft and chewy granola burrs. Obvious staple in our house. We love giving these to kids who come over. We like the Cascadian Farms for ourselves. <laughs> I mean, our kids will eat this, but if we have kids coming over, you better believe I'm not giving them Cascadian Farms granola bars. I'm giving them the Costco, the Kirkland, the 64 bars that come in a box for that price. I don't know how much. It's around seven bucks and it is a screaming deal. Potatoes. I didn't get a chicken this time around. I don't know who I am. The second time around, step by step, a day by day, a fresh start over. When's the last time you watched Step by Step, man? It is a jam, I'll tell you that. I don't know why I started singing that song. I did not get a chicken. I did grab some mashed potatoes. I thought, you know what, maybe, oh, that's what I'm making tonight for dinner. Mashed potatoes, uh, what, what else am I making? Gravy, I'll share that with you in a little bit. I got some half and half. I wasn't initially going to get half and half. I just got whipping cream because we have some strawberries that I'll cut up that we grabbed yesterday, just real quick. Made a grocery stop. And heavy whipping cream, that is for the strawberries. I love whipping cream if we make pancakes or whatever. And then I saw this and I thought, oh, just the packaging alone it looks so cute. Half and half, sometimes I make dinners, you know, if I'm making like a sauce or something and I need it. So it's always nice to have that on hand. It doesn't go bad very quickly. I grabbed some bacon, I've already chopped into that, cracked into it, whatever. Grab some mozzarella cheese for the little ones. They love cracking into these. Mostly Wentworth and Eleanor, no one else really. Uh, grab some cream cheese for Eleanor. She's our cheese fanatic. She loves all the cheese. Oh, and Alex already cracked into his seltzer water. I guess it's not seltzer, it's just sparkling water, which is very interesting. This whole time I thought it was all seltzer. But I don't think that's all mineral water. I think it's just sparkling water. All right, carbonated water, is that what that is? Oh my gosh, speaking of the star of the show, coconut oil. How long has it been since I bought these, you guys? These are my favorite snack. Hold on. Hold on, let me grab it up here. It needs to be on a pedestal. We need to highlight this. It cannot be shoved behind other products. Ooh, the coconut, the chocolate, the almonds. It is so good well worth the price i could down this whole bag probably in a couple of days so i really have to like stop myself from one buying them and two eating the entire confection oh they just you know what feels like summer it feels like summer i sound just like him so i don't know what you're talking about i also grabbed some eggs and then i grabbed some san pellegrino this is sparkling mineral water. Yeah, here we go. Flavored mineral vasa with natural CO2 added. Cool beans. Let's move on to this side of the cabinet. I got a very large bin of Costco sparkling water and this is probably cheaper than, okay, so how many come in here? 35? And 24 come in here, so yeah, I mean, that is a screaming deal for sure. Okay, like I told you, we're gonna make goulash for dinner. It is one of my Oma's favorites, and we realized, wow, Avelina really loves it. She asked for it multiple times. 9.67 for this crappy beef for stew. It's a pound, 1.21 pounds. And I just, you know what? Publix is so crazy with their meat, but I didn't want to drive all the way back to Costco. And I also didn't want seven pounds of beef from Costco, you know what I mean? But I would have saved a lot of money at Costco. I got some pasta from Publix. I got some hollandaise sauce mix because I told you I really like it on Brussels sprouts. And I really like this creamy pesto, oopsie. And I grabbed a lot of packets of this because I find that this is a quick, easy dinner. Just some chicken. I can throw the pesto sauce together on some noodles, add some broccoli, and boom, that is a great like pantry dinner. And, oh, and then I got a couple of hollandaise sauce mixes and then some gr brown gravy mix for the gravy that I'm gonna make with that. 
and I grabbed some vitamins for the kids. So we supplement, they do rituals sometimes, but they like these because they're coated in sugar and stuff. So we, you know, go back and forth between the Ritual Kids gummies and these because I like the Ritual Kids gummies. I think they have better ingredients, but you know, can't please them all. Like I said, we just go back and forth to, you know, please me and please them and then everyone's happy all around, you know? Okay, and then I grabbed a little bulb of garlic right here. Look at you, the little bulb of garlic. I grabbed a head of cauliflower. Look at this honkin' chonkin' thing. It was $2.99. So big, I was so happy about it. Wish I had my own garden. Maybe in my future life, I will. I grabbed some salsa con queso for taco night. I also grabbed some, what are these called? Bagels for Eleanor. Oh, and yes, I grabbed some Sharpies. This box of Sharpies. I just could not pass up the deal. I thought, I don't know, you know, I like the really thin Sharpies, uh, but I grabbed those, I don't know, it was just such a good price and you, you know, sometimes you just need a bunch of Sharpies. I also grab these every time we need chocolate chips if I'm making pancakes or whatever I'm making, oh, chocolate chip cookies. We're out of chocolate chips so I need to replenish my stash. I also grabbed some yogurt for the kiddos. We really like this triple zero brand. Zero added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners and zero fat. So normally when they take out the fat, they add sugar, but they didn't add sugar. So I just, I don't know what they added to it. Uh, probably some chemical-y crap. 15 grams of protein. It tastes good. My kids like it and that's really all you can ask for. Am I right? I grabbed some charcoal back there just in case we do some grilling. I think we're out of, oh, not it's not charcoal. It's lighter fluid. And then I did grab a couple more of these sports bras. They are my favorite. A white one and a black one. They had a couple of different print options. Two for 10 bucks? Come on. And then I grabbed some chicken thighs. We're out of chicken thighs. We're almost out of ground turkey. We don't have any more ground beef. So really I should have grabbed some more meat, but like I said, I did not meal plan. So I, I had no idea what I was doing going into this grocery trip. So you get what you get. Uh, I'm just trying to put the groceries away. You know what I mean? I was, I pulled this down. Guys, my spice cabinet. Oh man. Uh, I, you know? I don't know. Uh, yep. Okay. That's cool. Cool, cool. Hey, bro, don't you look at that. I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you can show me out of here. I think she got something in me. So please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping. Got something every good thing comes to an end at least it always happened to me i'm telling you this now you don't need to worry because i got this all really make my fridge look pretty if only for an Instagram photo okay that's but we'll see if that happens okay 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 
That doesn't look like a lot. Let's do it. So I'm using my new Dr. Bronner soap. This is a citrus scent and it washes off anyway. A lot of people ask me because I have the peppermint if I can taste it in the fruits and vegetables. The answer is no. No, I cannot. And I think this is everything that we're going to be chopping up today. Uh, yeah, I think I have enough containers. I thought, eh, maybe I'll just leave these in the fridge. But as soon as we open them one time, I'm going to have to figure out a way to close. It's not a resealable bag, so I would rather just put them in a container and have them good to go, you know? Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. I will follow you wherever. And I won't waste it. Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I Stand by you forever And I won't waste it Pitter, the coolest gadget you've ever seen. Well, maybe not the coolest. I will say that every time I show my fruit containers that I'm storing my fruit in, fruit storage, whatever you want to call them, I so many of you ask me <laughs> where I got them from. And um, I'm not always the greatest at linking things, mostly because, well, I mean, I'm just not that kind of a uh, content creator. But here we are, and since so many of you have been asking me about my fruit containers, I will link them below, but I will also say, please don't buy them unless you find them on sale or for a good price. Um, they were just on Amazon. They had like Amazon Prime Day or Prime Week. I don't even know. They were on crazy deal, and I thought about uh, linking them like on my Instagram, but then I was like, nah, enough people are linking stuff. I don't want to be like, you know, that person. But short story long, 
If you want the fruit containers, if you've had your eye on them, I feel like I'm on QVC right now. Keep your eye out for a sale. They often go on sale at least $5 off. That's how I got mine. But on Prime Day, I want to say they were like $15 off. Enough about the fruit containers. I will link them if you're interested, if you're in the market. If you're not, I don't care. Use a Ziploc bag. But I wanted to say, do you store your uh, food, I guess, in your fridge? Does your fridge look organized all the time? Or is that like something I'm brainwashed to think that everyone else does? It's like a woman across the room move where I think everyone's doing it, but in reality, no one's doing it. And the Kardashians apparently have their life together. I was listening to a podcast the other day and they said something, one of the Kardashians, I guess, is super organized and has an organized junk drawer and all of that good stuff. Listen, that's not my life. That will never be my life. And I assume she has a whole team of people keeping her life organized. So that's that. But I wanted to say, I wanted to ask you, is your life like that? Are you the woman across the room from me? If you are, kudos to you. More power to you. Can you uh, send some of that my way? I feel like I need to get my life together. I was watching someone on YouTube the other day. It was like, 10 things you should do in your life. And I don't know, to make it better or more productive. And I was like, wow, I, I need to get my life together. Anyway, here's a song that I really like. It's called Won't You Save Me by Loving Caliber. And I'm Kaser Kaser. I've been pushing away everybody I love. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows. Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close Won't you save, 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 save me Won't you save, 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 save me I am out here alone Cause there's nobody left Someone to talk to Get this pain on my chest All the bad things I've done And the people I've hurt Wanna take that part of me And leave it in the dirt Won't you save, 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 save me Won't you save, 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 save me? Won't you save, 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 save me? Oh, save me, save, save me. Oh, I've been trapped in this darkness for far too long now. Tear down the curtains Let the sun shine in Oh, I've been seeking forgiveness Cause I know I was wrong Oh, I'm running out of time I have to stay strong Here's my hard work paying off in the colors of the rainbow. Uh, you know what's funny? I plan on making a blackberry pie, but the kids ate half of the blackberries yesterday and most of the raspberries as well. 
and they've been coming in eating a lot of the cantaloupe so I might have to cut up another cantaloupe before the day is through. That's okay with me as long as they're eating something healthy. That's what it's all about. I'm gonna shove all this stuff in the fridge. She's beauty and she's grace. She's Miss You. I did it. Look at me. I am that woman. <laughs> was it worth it? I don't know. It was all right. But also, the real question is how long is it gonna stay this way? Because probably not very long. But it looks good for now. I'll update on Instagram. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed all of the groceries that we got from Costco and Publix. All the food that we'll be eating for the next who knows how long. I also hope that you liked the food prep. Hopefully I shared that with you because I plan on doing some food prep because goodness, we need it. Our fridges are bare. I'm ready to eat, really. I kind of just want to go straight to brownies. It's not Friday yet. I don't know if I can wait till Friday, if I'm being honest with you. Life's too short, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.